Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna Ticality. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet some Christmas bubbles. Look at them! I have here five different designs that I want to share with you guys. I've always wanted to make them and I'm so happy that I did this year because they turned out so cute. And let me know which one is your favorite. I'm going to be leaving them here with the numbers so we can vote which one do we like the best. My number one favorite would be the peppermint candy, this one right here, and the ruffly one. These are my two absolute favorites but the others are super cute as well. So I really hope you like today's video. So now let's begin and let's learn how to crochet all of this together. So for this project, I am using this three different colors and I'm going to be mixing them to create all of the covers that I'm going to be doing for my bubbles. So I have here the shade red, silver and white. The two bigger ones are Bravissimo Lurex and the smaller one is Bravissimo 50 by teslan.com and they are all DK number three yarns. And also you need some bubbles. I have these ones right here that I'm going to be covering with crochet and I got these from a charity shop and I paid 20p per bubble. And then for the tools, I am using a tapestry needle, a small pair of scissors, a four millimeters crochet hook and a tape measure. And all of my circles, they are going to be eight centimeters because that's the sizing that I need to cover my bubble. And how I found out the sizing that I needed to make my circles, I basically measured half of my bubble. So I'm going to be measuring from this line to the other side. So it's nine centimeters, exactly nine centimeters. And then I took away one centimeters for the stretch. And that's the sizing of my circle. So we are going to be working a magic ring first. chain three and this chain three counts as the first stitch and then work 11 double crochets into the ring so we are going to be having 12 stitches in total around the ring into the first round so once you have completed the 11 double crochets you can now close the ring by pulling this nice and tight and then you go into slip stitch into the chain three. So we are going to be working into the back loops only all the way around for all of the rounds. So to begin round two, chain three, and then double crochet into that very first stitch where you've done the slip stitch. Now for the following one, you're going to be working into the back loop only. So go into the next stitch, back loop only, and then work two double crochets into the back loop only of that stitch. Now go into the following one, back loop only, two double crochets, and repeat the same all the way around. So you're going to be having 24 double crochets, 24 stitches for round number two. So I am here into my last stitch as you can see. So I'm going to be working two double crochets, back loop only, into the last stitch. And now we can slip stitch into the chain three. Now we are going to be making the last round so chain three, double crochet into the same stitch where you've done the slip stitch. And now we are going to be working back loop only all the way around. So into the next stitch, back loop only, work one double crochet. Next stitch, back loop only, work two double crochets. And the repeat for round three is going to be one double crochet, back loop only into the next stitch, and then two double crochets, back loop only into the following stitch. And then repeat the same steps all the way around. 
So now I got at the end, my previous one was an increase. So the last one is going to be just one double crochet. And now I can slip stitch into the chain three. And now I'm done with the base. So I'm going to chain one, cut off the yarn, leaving a nice end to weave in. I leave about 15 centimeters or so. And before I do the ruffles, I'm going to weave in. So make sure that the middle here is really nice and tight. You are going to be threading this yarn into a tapestry needle. So to weave in the middle, you're going to be skipping one little stitch and then go into a couple of stitches. Skip the very first one, go backwards into those same stitches and then skip the first one again and go back into those same stitches. Now cut off this yarn and then weave in the one at the top. So first you wanna move this yarn into where you have some stitches to weave in. I'm gonna do it here. So now just go into some stitches. And then you're going to be skipping the first little loop and then go back into those same stitches. Skip the first little loop and then go back into those same stitches. Now you can cut off this yarn and that's how I'm going to weave in at the back of all of my designs. So once you have the base, we are going to be using the front loop that we have here at the top of the base to create the ruffles. I'm going to be starting with the middle one first. So I'm gonna get the silver yarn. So I'm going to be making a slip knot. So now you can choose one of the stitches here that we have in relief into the very first round, as you can see. So I'm going to be doing this one. So just fold so you can see it better. So go into that little loop and then attach with a single crochet like so. And then we are going to chain two. I'm going to thread this yarn into my stitches so I don't have to weave in. And then I'm going to work into that same loop two double crochets. So we have three stitches here into this first loop. So now you're going to find the second one. So you can see the second one is here. And then into the second loop, we are going to be working three double crochets into the same loop. So that's what we are going to be doing all the way around. So we are going to be working into all the 12 loops that we have here into the first round. So I got here at the end, I have my last loop so into the last one, you also want to work three double crochets. And then all you have to do now is to slip stitch into the chain three. Chain one, cut off the yarn, leaving a nice tail to weave in. And before you create the next ruffle, make sure that you weave in. So now for the next ruffle, we are going to be doing into the second round where we have the front loops, which is right here, as you can see. And I'm going to be doing that one in white, work a slip knot with the next shade. And then bring the base fold into the second round. Choose one of the loops, go into one of the loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two to attach with a single crochet chain two and then work two double crochets into the same stitch. So we are going to be following the same steps that we did for the first ruffle, but this time we have more stitches to work around. So go into the next one, the next loop in relief and work three double crochets and then repeat the same steps all the way around. So now I got into my last loop 
into this last one I'm also going to be making three double crochets into that same loop and now all you have to do is to slip stitch into the chain three so when you make the first one you can go ahead cut off the yarn leaving a nice tail for the weave in and then fasten off weave in and this is how it's going to look so this one is ready and then you're going to be making a second one and this second one before you fasten off you want to wrap this yarn four times around your circle like so and this is going to give enough yarn for you to sew both of the circles together around the bobo so i have one two three and four now you can cut off this yarn and now you can go ahead and chain one and then we can fasten it off. So this is what you're gonna do into your second circle. So this is how this one looks like. Super cute, I love this one so, so much. So now I'm going to put this one aside. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make this super cute one. So I'm going to be making a magic ring. Chaining one in which does not count as a stitch and then I'm going to be working six single crochets around the ring once you've done the six single crochets we can now close the ring so now you're gonna go into that very first single crochet and you're going to be slip stitching both sides together Make sure that the middle is nice and tight. We can now fasten off, so I'm going to chain one, cut off my yarn and fasten off and bring the next shade. So I am using silver. So with the next shade, work a slip knot. So now you can attach into any stitch around. So I'm gonna go into this one I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So attaching with a single crochet. And then I'm going to be chaining three. And into the same stitch, I'm going to be working a double crochet. So now I'm going to chain one. Into the following stitch, I'm going to be working a double crochet. A chain of one and a double crochet into the same stitch. So the repeat for this round is going to be chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the following stitch. Now repeat the same steps all the way around. So in total at the end, you will finish with six Vs as you can see. And then to finish it off, you go into chain one and then you go into slip stitch into the second chain so we have the single crochet chain one into the second one now we can chain one cut off this yarn fasten off and bring the next shade i'm going to be using red so with the red make a slip knot so we are going to be attaching this yarn into any of the chain one spaces that is into the V's. The other chain one spaces in between the V's, we are not going to be using them. So choose one. I'm going to be doing this one. And then attach with a single crochet. And then chain two. And then into the same chain one space, work a double crochet. So this chain two at the beginning will count as the first stitch. So now we are going to be working the cross stitch. So you're going to be creating a double crochet into the next chain one space of the next V. So we are going to be skipping this chain one space, going into the following one and working a double crochet. And now chain one. And then you're gonna go back into the previous V. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the previous V, the chain one space of the previous V, 
and then catch the yarn at the back, move to the front, pull nice and high so it's leveled with the other stitch, the other double crochet. And now here you work a double crochet. So this is a cross stitch. So now into the same chain one space that you've done the first double crochet of the cross stitch, you're going to be working two double crochets into that same chain one space. And now you're going to be repeating the same steps again, creating the cross stitch and the two double crochets. So we are going to first go into the chain one space of the next V. So we are going to be skipping the following chain one space, go into the next one, double crochet, chain one, go back into the previous V, the chain one space of the previous V, and then work a double crochet. Now into this same chain one space that we did the first double crochet of the cross stitch, work two double crochets. And now you're going to be repeating this all the way around. So now I got here at the end and I'm going to be doing my last cross stitch. So I'm going to go into that very first chain one space that we did the two first stitches. And then I'm going to be working a double crochet, chain one, and then go back into the previous V and then work your second double crochet of the cross stitch. And now all you have to do is to go into that chain two and slip stitch right on top, just like that. And now we have the third round now completed, chain one, cut off the yarn and bring back the silver. Make a slip knot and then you can attach this yarn into any little space that you can find. I'm going to be doing it here. You're going to go around the space, not into the stitch. So go in between the little space and then attach with a single crochet, chain two. Now, when you get into the cross stitch, the chain one space of the cross stitch, we are going to be working two double crochets into that space. And then when you get into these three spaces here, we are just going to be working one double crochet. So work one double crochet into the next space, one double crochet into the following space in between the stitches, and then double crochet into the next space. And now we got into the cross stitch, chain one space. So into that we are going to be working two double crochets. And then repeat the same all the way around. So now at the end we are going to be having two spaces left. So just work double crochet into those spaces. There we go. And then slip stitch into the chain two the beginning. So once you make the first circle, you're going to chain one, cut off the yarn, fasten off, and then you can weave in everything. So I made my first one and this one is weaved in and ready. And then you're going to be making a second one. And this one you want to make sure that you leave enough yarn for the sewing. So you want to wrap the current yarn that you have around the circle three times or even four to make sure that you have enough yarn. So I'm going to do four. So one, two, three, and four. And that's going to give you enough yarn to sew both circles together around the bubble. So I'm going to now cut off this yarn for my second circle. And then I can now fasten off. So I'm going to chain one and fasten off. I'm going to now weave in all of the yarns that I have here at the back. So now I'm going to put this away. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make this puffed one right here. First, I'm going to be starting with the silver. 
So first I'm going to be starting with a magic ring and then I'm going to be chaining two in which is going to count as the first stitch and then I'm going to be working 11 half double crochets around the ring. So in total we are going to be having 12 stitches for this very first round. So once you have the 12 stitches, close the ring nice and tight and now all you have to do is to go into the chain two and slip stitch. Now we can chain one, cut off this yarn and fasten off. And now I'm going to be using the red for the puff stitches. So I'm going to be working a slip knot and then I'm going to be attaching into any of the stitches around. I'm going to be doing this one. I'm going to be attaching with a single crochet and then I'm going to chain one. And then into every stitch we are going to be working a puff stitch and then chaining one in between the puff stitches. So to create the puff stitch, you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, you're going to insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, for this first one is going to be a little bit different, and then wrap the yarn around the hook, insert into the same stitch and pull up a loop. Now, once you have five loops on the hook for this very first one, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now chain one and move on into the next stitch. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, and then do that one more time. Now you're going to be having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on the hook. So once you have the seven loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all loops. Now chain one, and repeat into the next stitch. So we're going to be doing three wraparounds for the puff stitch. Chain one and then move on into the next stitch. And then this is what you're going to be doing all the way around. So once you have the 12 puff stitches around, I made my last one. Chain one go into the very first one, find any stitch right at the top, and then you go into slip stitch, chain one, cut off the yarn, and now we can fasten off and bring the next shade. I am using white. So work a slip knot and attach this yarn into any of the chain one spaces. I'm going to be doing this one. So attach with a single crochet and chain two. So into that same chain one space, work two double crochets. Chain one, skip the, the puff stitch, go into the next chain one space and work three double crochets. Chain one, go into the following chain one space and work three double crochets. And then repeat the same all the way around. So I got here at the end, I have my last chain one space. So I've chained one and then work three double crochets into the last chain one space. And then chain one and slip stitch to the other side, into that chain two. Now if this is your first one, you go into chain one and fasten off. Now if this is your second circle, then you go into chain one. <laughs> that scared me. And then you're going to be wrapping this yarn before you cut four times around your circle. And now you can fasten off. And you can go ahead and weave in. I've showed you how to weave in into the first design. So if you wanna see that, you can go ahead and watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to make the next design. 
So next up, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful flower one. So I'm going to be using red for the flower and then silver for the outside. So I'm going to be working a magic ring. Chain one in which does not count as a stitch and then work six single crochets into the ring. Once you have the six single crochets, close the ring. And then slip stitch to the very first single crochet. So now for the petals, chain four. And then treble crochet into that same stitch where you've done the slip stitch. So wrap the yarn twice around the hook. Go into that same stitch where you've done the slip stitch. Pull up a loop. Now yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then chain four. And slip stitch into that same stitch. And this is all you're going to be doing for the petal. So now to go into the next one, you go into slip stitch into the following stitch. And now here you can work the next petal. So chain four. Treble crochet into the same stitch. Chain four. And slip stitch into the same stitch. Now slip stitch into the following stitch and repeat that again. And we are going to be having six petals in total. So now I'm going to be working the last petal into the last stitch. So slip stitch into the last stitch, chain four, treble crochet into the same stitch, chain four, and slip stitch into the same last stitch. So now we can chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off, leaving a nice tail for the weave in. And now bring the following shade you are going to be using. So here we have a little flower. You can also use this little flower for something else as well. Super cute. So with the following shade, work a slip knot. And then you're going to be attaching this yarn into any of the treble crochets. You can see there is one right here. So attach right into the top of the petal with a single crochet. Now you're going to chain four and single crochet into the following petal into that treble crochet. Chain four. Single crochet into the next petal, into the treble crochet, and then repeat the same steps all the way around. At the end, just follow the same steps, chain four, and slip stitch into the very first single crochet. So now we are going to half double crochet all the way around. So chain one, and half double crochet into the same single crochet stitch. When you get into the chain, you're going to work around the chain, not into the chain. And work five half double crochets around the chain. So two, three, four, and five. Then when you get into the single crochet, you're just going to half double crochet into the single crochet stitch. And now we go into the chain again. So into the chain four, you are going to work five half double crochets around the chain. So five half double crochets and then one half double crochet into the single crochet stitch. And now repeat the same all the way around. Now at the end, 
you're going to have the last chain four space. So work five half double crochets into the last chain four. And then all you have to do is to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. Now this is my second circle, so I'm going to be leaving enough yarn for the sewing. So I've showed you how to weave in into the first design. So if you want to see that, go back into the first design. So now this is done. I'm going to leave aside. Next, I'm going to show you how to make my favorite one out of all of them that I've showed you. This is a peppermint candy <laughs> design. <laughs> I really love this one. This is the hardest one out of all of them. So that's why I left here at the end so that I, I can take a little bit more time to explain how to make this one. So let's go, look at that, so cute. So for this one, I am going to be using the white and the red together at the same time because we are going to be switching every time we change the color. So I'm going to be creating a slip knot and then I'm going to be chaining four. So one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to be joining with a slip stitch into the very first chain to create a circle. So we are going to be starting with a chain of one, not counting as a stitch, and then you're going to be creating the first part of a half double crochet into the ring. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, inserting into the middle of the ring, and then pull up a loop, but you're not going to finish this half double crochet. You will bring now the white, and with the white, you want to finish this half double crochet like so. We can leave both ends to the side and we can weave in them later. Just get the two working yarns like so. You want to leave the red just underneath and in between the stitch, so we are going to be fitting the yarns that we drop into the stitch. So now you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, go into the ring, pull up a loop, don't finish the half double crochet with the white. We are going to now switch into the red, so drop the white, catch the red, and then finish this half double crochet with the red. You will be switching colors until you have the amount of changes that you want. I've done for this one, 10 switches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to be having 10 stitches at the beginning. So make the first part of a half double crochet with the red, switch to white and finish this half double crochet. And then follow the same steps, switching colors until you have the amount of changes you want. And now I'm going to be making the last one. And you wanna make sure that you change the color to red. And now you're gonna go into, so drop the, the white for a moment. And then you're gonna go into the very first half double crochet where you have the red. And then you go into slip stitch. So now for the following round, we are going to chain one and then we are going to work two half double crochets into the same stitch of the collar and then we are going to be switching into the second half double crochet. So the chain one does not count as a stitch. So drop the red, grab the white and finish the second half double crochet with the white. So now going to the next stitch is going to be white. So now you're going to do one half double crochet, make sure that the red yarn that you've dropped, it's in between the stitch. So do a half double crochet and do a second one, but into the second one, you're going to be switching colors. And now you do the same all the way around, switching colors. You can see the color underneath and then you're going to be changing into the corresponding color. So make two half double crochets with the corresponding color and then you're going to be changing into the second half double crochet. 
So now I have white. So do one half double crochet with the white. And then the second one, change into red. And then do the same all the way around. So once you have the last one, into the last stitch is going to be white. Do your two half double crochets and change into red into the last half double crochet. Now with the red, slip stitch into that very first half double crochet stitch. So now for the third round, chain one, half double crochet into the first stitch where you did the slip stitch and then into the following one, work two half double crochets and then into the second one, you are going to be changing into the next color. So one, and then the second one, you are going to be changing into white. And now you're going to be doing the same. We are going to be having three half double crochets in total for each color, for each change. So one half double crochet into the following stitch with the white, and then two half double crochets into the following stitch, and then into the second half double crochet, change into red. So now we can repeat the same steps all the way around. Meow. <laughs> so I'm here into my last two stitches. So I'm going to be working one half double crochet into the next stitch and then two into the following one and then change into red into the second half double crochet. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. And now we can move on into round number four. We are going to be doing four rounds in total. So this one is going to be the last one. So starting with the chain one and then half double crochet into the very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. Now one half double crochet into the next stitch. Make sure that you weave the white in between the half double crochet. So just one half double crochet into the next stitch. And now into the last one with the red, we are going to be making two half double crochets and into the second one, we are going to be changing into white. And now repeat the same to the next color. So one half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then two half double crochets into the next stitch and change into the second half double crochet. Just like so. Now repeat the same all the way around. So one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then the following one, two half double crochets and change into the last one. So now repeat the same into the last collar, the last three stitches, into the last stitch, work two half double crochets, and then the last half double crochet, change into red, and then with the red, you can slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. Now, if this is your first, circle you can chain one cut off the yarn fasten off and weave in for this one i'm going to be sewing with both yarns in my tapestry needle so i'm going to be wrapping both yarns around my circle four times so two three and four just so that we have the same effect when we sew as well so cut off the yarn and now we can fasten off the red because the white is already at the back and there we go. So once you've done this one, fasten off, weave in and then make a second one. And here's my second one. So now we can start covering the bubbles with the little coverings.
So here we have all of the designs that I'm going to be covering my bobos with. So I'm going to be using the red ones for the ones that we don't see any gaps in the circle. So these are all going to be red. And then for this one that we have the flower and we have a little gap, I'm going to be using this transparent one. But I think it's so fun. So these are the ones that I'm going to be using to cover with crochet. So I'm going to show you how to close one of them because then all the rest will be the same. So I'm going to show you this one. And then you're going to first start without the bubble. So I'm going to bring this back in a minute. So you're going to be putting the two designs together, wrong sides facing like so. And then you're going to be threading this yarn into a tapestry needle. And now we are going to be matching the stitches and sewing them together. So choose one stitch at the back and then one stitch of the front circle and then sew the two together. I'm getting the entire stitch all the way around. Now go into the following one on both sides and then sew the two together. The next two of both sides, sew the two together. The next two, sew the two together. So just carry on sewing the two sides together until you are about halfway through the sewing because the other half we are going to be doing with the bubble inside the covering. So now you get the bubble, you're going to be placing right inside the covering and you want to move the top piece where you place the loop right into the beginning of the sewing because then we are going to finish here and we are done. So now all you have to do is to carry on with the sewing, just grabbing one stitch of both sides and sewing them together until you get to this point. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll be back once I'm right at the top. So when I get towards here at the top, you are going to be sewing until you get to this point. So the last sewing is going to be here. And then you just want to leave that little space for that top piece. So now you're going to go into those two last stitches one more time, leaving a little loop and then go through the loop and then pull nice and tight to fasten off and now you can just weave this yarn in. So what I do, I just move to a place where I have some stitches so I can just do it around here because it's going to be more invisible. So now you can just go back and forth hiding this yarn in place. Once you are done, cut off the end. And we are done covering the very first one. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this. It looks so pretty, look at this. And now we can add a little loop if you don't have one. I don't have in any of them, so I'm going to have to add. I'm going to be measuring because I want to do all of them the same size. So I'm going to be doing 25 centimeters around here. So I'm going to cut right here. And now I'm going to be joining both ends together. And now I'm going to be making a knot here at the end. I'm going to be cutting just a little bit more the end just so that we have a tiny end like this now i'm going to be using this super tiny hook this is a 1.1 millimeter crochet hook i'm going to be inserting into the loop at the top and then i'm going to be moving this yarn through that loop with my hook so now to move one through the other i want to have the knot at the bottom not at the top because i don't really like the knot at the top so I'm going to be moving the nicer side through the knotted side, just like so. And then pull this nice and tight. And now you have the knot at the bottom. So 
So I prefer doing this. And here we have the very first one completed. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I have crochet bubbles this year. I was so excited. Let's go ahead and close all the others. The family is now completed. So I've now completed three. I've done this one. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to be doing this one and I just want to explain what I'm going to be doing because as you've noticed, I left the white yarn to do the sewing and not the red just so that we have like a different detail maybe so i'm simply just going to be moving this yarn to the back like so so what i'm gonna do now put both together and then with this yarn i'm going to be single crocheting exactly the same as I did sewing but I'm going to single crochet instead so I'm just going to choose one stitch of the first one one of the other one and then I'm going to pull up a loop maybe chain one here and then I'm just going to single crochet all the way around let's see how that's going to look otherwise I can just sew it together there we go. This is how much I did of single crochets. I just have a little gap at the top. I'm going to be placing my bubble inside and then finishing the single crochets around. And look at this detail. It's so cute. I love that. I really love the single crochets around. Maybe I can do for this one as well. Maybe in a different color. I think this is my favorite. It's so cute. So maybe I'm going to be doing the sewing with single crochets with the red for this one as well because look at this this is so cute so I think I'm going to do that you know it's not the same as so to single crochet you're just gonna get one stitch of this side one of the other And then you're going to pull up a loop through both stitches and then single crochet. And then you're going to be repeating all the way around the same. So here I have three stitches to work first and then I have a chain one space. So here is the last one that we have stitches. When you get into the chain one space, you're just going to go around both chain one spaces of both sides, as you can see, and then single crochet. So once you have a little gap at the top that you can place your bobo inside, you can go ahead and do that. And now we can just finish the single crochets all the way to the top. So I am done with all of my bubbles. Look at this. <laughs> and oh, I can't. Look at this one. This is the cutest ever. <laughs> and oh my goodness, this one is so pretty. I love this. So now we can go downstairs and let's see how these are going to look on my Christmas tree because I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> Imagine them all with the ornaments that I made. No way. Let's put this one here. Can you see them? I am speechless. This is so cute. I love them. And also the colors that I have chosen looks really good on this Christmas tree. I'm so happy that I've chosen these three shades. 
what do you think let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite if you have enjoyed watching today's video and also if you are going to be making which one you're going to be making maybe i can share next year five more designs and we can crochet them together i really really enjoyed crocheting them they are really fun so yeah i'm going to now sign off because i'm gonna get ready for tomorrow so we can decorate the tree together so i'm going to be recording myself maybe my husband is going to be with me and we are going to be decorating the tree together with all of the ornaments that i made this week so i really hope you have enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for tomorrow's video when i decorate the tree because i'm so excited and i'm so happy that i can decorate now with all of my crochet ornaments so thank you so so much for watching and i really really hope you have enjoyed crocheting the five beautiful ornaments that we did in today's video so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos like this one so thank you again for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye